That means Wait a minute, today's Labor Day? 19 pounds 49, that equals out to less than an hour of Yesterday was Labor Day! Spent. Oh shit, there was a video I wanted to make. Ah, fuck! Think of the amount of hours you can squeeze oh, 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 or Haiti. My clavicle holes! Oh, no. I can't believe I forgot it was Labor Day. Friends, enemies, assorted potted plants. There are two things that are fundamentally true in this country, the United States, at the moment that I am speaking. The first thing that is true is we need a general strike. Hundreds of millions of people all over the country are being affected by what I can only rationally describe as widespread economic fuckery. Wages are stagnant and have been stagnant for 20 years. Cost of living is on the rise. Cost of housing is skyrocketing. Inflation is cutting people's knees out from under them. If you have one dollar today, it is worth 80 cents compared to what it was worth at the beginning of the year. And COVID is still around, just messing with people, wiping out their savings, killing their family members, the whole shebang. And the worst part is there doesn't seem to be any relief coming from any of this. Our government right now is so dysfunctional that when they handed out $1,200 checks for people to pay their bills, they did nothing but complain about how people chose to pay their bills with that money. The rich fuckers understand this and have been trying to take control of things themselves, sometimes successfully, sometimes unsuccessfully. Donald Trump and Alex Jones planning an insurrection on the 6th of January? Not very successful. Leonard Leo turning the Supreme Court into an instrument of the bourgeoisie? Very successful. If rich fuckers just keep getting what they want, then things are going to get worse for everyone. For you, for me, for everyone that both of us care about. And I think that most rational people can agree that voting is not going to solve the problem. Because no matter who you put in office, they're going to need to appease the fascists. That's democratic policy now! Appeasement! So the one tool that the working people have left is its most radical and its most effective. The general strike. We need to get together teachers and teamsters and train operators, grocers and carpenters and metal workers, Amazon warehouse pickers and Starbucks baristas. All need to get together and strike. Because as I and a number of other people have been saying for years, no one is coming to save us. We have to save us. And this leads into the second thing that is absolutely unequivocally true. You cannot have a general strike without labor organizing. I have seen a dozen different movements to try and start a labor strike fizzle out because ordinary people either weren't willing or didn't know how to put in the work. Because you can't have a strike without a labor union. A strike isn't just walking away from your job, it is negotiating demands and trying to find needs and figuring out where the weak points in your management are. You need manpower to do that, and you get that manpower from the labor union. And the synthesis, the very obvious synthesis of these two ideas, is that we need labor unions. Absolutely, without question. And I am more hopeful now than I have been in a very long time that we are going to get that. The big places that I've been pushing to unionize that you might know about, that everyone knows about, are the Starbucks and the Amazon warehouses. But there are other places too, places like Dollar General and Walmart, hotel and motel workers, and even people who get their money through apps like Uber and Lyft have been working to unionize. And all of this is vital. I'm not here to tell you to treat unions better. I would hope that given my audience, I don't have to do that. I am here to tell you to join a union. Unionizing a workplace is difficult and sometimes harrowing work. You will have people breathing down your neck, but it is entirely possible. And there are doubtless going to be resources for you wherever you live. I'm going to leave a description of some resources that you can use to help unionize your workplace in the description of this video, and I will encourage you to begin the process of unionization. Because listen, here's the thing at the bottom of it. Nothing is going to get better unless we make it better. And this is how we make things better, by making demands and following through. And that's all I had to say about that. I am all said out. You know where the comments are, you know where the like button is, leave one or both if you would like. It would also be remiss of me not to mention that I still have a coffee account. If you feel like you have a couple of dollars that maybe you can spare, feel free to shoot it my way. I've updated a bunch of things. I spent all night updating the website as much as I could. So like, there's new stuff you can do. This is also a drum that I'm going to be banging. Join the DSA. 
The DSA supports unions, and they support a lot of other things that you probably want. Electoralism is a bust. I believe that it's a bust, and I will maintain that it's a bust, but... You're not going to be able to fix it as long as you're voting for one of two people who are going to appease the fascists. The DSA will not appease the fascists. So yeah, I guess until next time we talk, go out, do something important, like joining a union, and take care of yourselves, alright? We are not in fact rocking in the USA.